Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm going to get the last of these treasure chests, so let's do it before we burn the warship to the ground. We get a trident, a gaucha knife. Skip that one. And this one contains a giant helmet. The giant helmet is a heavy piece of equipment, so we're not going to be using that. But the uh, trident is going to be very useful for Fury, and it's simply stronger than anything else he has. But um, I think it's also supposed to deal more damage to uh, ocean or sea-type monsters or fish or whatever. But I don't know if that actually works in this version. I think there's the, the specialized weapons are still bugged, but whatever. It's stronger, period. So we're going to be using that. The other item, the Gaussian knife, um, it also increases your evade by uh, quite a bit more than normal weapons do. It's almost like a shield knife, so to speak. So, um, and we want to hold on to that for later. So, we got that. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure everyone's healed up because that last chest is going to contain a very powerful monster. Um, it's quite possible that I might die on this one. So, get Fury and Maria in the back row and let's do it. And I shield with monsters! Oh, crap. Well, at least a mage isn't that bad. I can deal with a mage. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to have Furion, I guess, cast Cure on everyone to make sure that they don't die, because he's probably going to be a little slow. We want to Berserk Gordon. Uh, let's see. Does he have the Ancient Sword? Yeah. I want to. Tr I have to inflict Curse on that Gigas, or I will stand no chance in this battle. Oh, lucky me. Whew. Okay, now I actually stand a chance. Or maybe not. That's okay. We oh, wait, I have to kill the mage now, too. Crap. Just don't put me to sleep, please. Thank you. I'll revive Gordon later, because um, I actually inflicted Curse right away. If I didn't inflict Curse, I'd probably, rev I'd probably try to revive Gordon. But now my top priority is keeping Guy alive and getting Berserk uh, starting to stack on him, so that way... He can kill these guys pretty quickly. Yay! Oh, Berserk is so good. Oh, I should remove Maria's equipment when I do that. Eh, whatever. I mean, I should still do it, but... Huh. If Guy gets killed, though, I am screwed. Because... Whew. Yeah, because then... The other guys will be sent to the front row, then. And uh, I'll have no chance at that point. So, yeah, let's remove the equipment to make sure every layer of Berserk hits Guy. And, yeah, there we go. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. I am actually slightly lucky in this battle. Okay, now we're doing pretty good, yes. A Gigas is normally, like you saw with Gordon, they can kill you with a single physical attack. That's really bad. So now let's remove his equipment and try to get life going on Gordon. And hopefully it will work this time. It's level four. It has to work, right? Okay, uh, Gigas has 750 HP, by the way. So he's going to take a little while to kill, but um, I should be in good shape. Um, all the Gigas does is use physical attacks, so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. Good job. Um, Gordon would probably die even if I hit, got Cure to work on him. So I'm just going to cast Cure on everyone just to get something going. Um, yeah, I might as well berserk Gordon, I guess. It doesn't particularly matter. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah! Go, Gordon. You're not so spoony after all. Yay! Oh, and we gained some MP for once. And some HP. Yay! And we get the arrow spell that I really don't care about using. So, okay, well, I have some healing and re-equipping to do. So I will take care of that and be right back. Okay, we're back, and I restored everyone to their max... Well, not close enough to their maximum HP. Um, I also equipped another on Furion because... Um, He's getting low on MP there, and we still got a little ways to go, although we have all the treasure now. Um, I also equipped him with the Ice Shield, because he could use the 
boost and evade more than Maria could still, and I'm not worried about Gordon at all, so we got all that taken care of, so let's head to the engine room then. Okay, we want to make it to those stairs to the left there then. If that captain will get out of my way. There we go. Okay, here's a new enemy, Panther. Those guys are particularly nasty. I've got to kill them quickly. Um, yeah, they're even more important than mages. I mean, they're not as bad as um, as uh, Gigas is, not by far, but they're still pretty nasty, and I think they can inflict envenom on you. Fortunately, Maria's wear staff is particularly effective against them. Okay, well, I guess they weren't as tough as I made them out to be, but usually they're a lot harder. <laughs> So, you gotta be real careful against those panthers. That's the one enemy um, that you can randomly encounter that can really have a decent chance of killing you, so. Oh, God. I'm blind! I'm blind! Well, fortunately, I have the heal spell. I'm gonna have to remove Furion's equipment to take it. Ah, crap, he has another on. Well, I guess I have to use the other first. Uh... Oh, fine. Uh, I'm getting low on MP. I don't want to have to use another on her. Well, I guess I'll try to kill them while I'm blinded. You can still actually hit enemies while you're blinded, but... Eh. Come on, I want to make it to the engine room. Good shot. Wow. Nice job. Uh, I doubt I'll get healed to work before everyone else will kill this guy, but eh, whatever. I gotta try. Switch the equipment. Cast heal. And just go all out. Okay, well, I got some healing to do, so I'll take care of that after this battle and be right back. The engine room is mine! <laughs> Just as I say that, I run into a mine! <laughs> okay. Okay, now this area is a freaking maze. I mean, Captain's Guard, just enough of the intersections, as you can see, to force you to walk all the way around the area just to reach the enter room at, engine room at the center for some godforsaken reason. Just don't make a wrong turn and talk to one of them. If you make a mistake, it's kind of like that room in the Minds of Narsh in Final Fantasy VI, except you die! So don't talk to them. It'll just piss them off. I'll just take the straightforward path to get there as much as I can. Yes, I have a map. It helps. <sighs> Those panthers are hard. I hate panthers. I do like cats, though, in general. The engine room is right above us, but there's captains guarding all of them, so... But apparently they're not guarding them well enough. Because I will get there. <sighs> yep, gotta walk all the way around. Are we there yet? Almost there. There it is. A not-so-empty room, after all. There's the engine. Let's see. Okay, we gotta toss the sun flame in there and burn the ship down. We hurl it into the engine. Aye, right, that's some fire. It's the Dark Knight! That voice, it's so familiar. I am your father. Ha <laughs> ha! No. <laughs> He's not her father. D don't worry about it. <laughs> They're not that cliche, right? No, seriously. He's not her father. Don't worry about it. And apparently we can escape from the warship as it's burning very, very slowly. And the guards aren't even going to stop us. Screw you! 
Yeah! How'd the Dark Knight get off faster than we did? Eh, whatever. Okay, well that's about all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Next time, we'll figure out what we want to do next to irritate the Empire even more into attacking us. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!